Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Transformers number nine. This is a new book from Image Comics Skybound. Let's take a look at the uh, team before we get into this book. We, of course, have writer Daniel Warren Johnson with art by Jorge Corona, Mike Spicer on colors, letters by Rose Wooten. And yes, of course, this is a continuation of the Energon universe uh, with Transformers, G.I. Joe, and I don't know, maybe more stuff in the horizon. Um... Let's talk about this issue. In this issue, the war on Cybertron on Earth converge in ways the Autobots and Decepticons never expected. Uh, so, yeah, there's like a big... The Decepticons have kind of figured out like this giant portal to Cybertron. And now we are getting introduced to more characters. We're getting introduced to more uh, stuff just happening. And just the war continues to escalate in ways that I would have never imagined. Um but the the core of this book really still focuses on the individual characters, which I really appreciate. I think Daniel Warren Johnson is so good at capturing emotions from robots, and that's kind of a weird thing to say. Uh, but also, all this is just surrounded by amazing art because Jorge Corona just picked up right like right where where Daniel Warren Johnson left off. Uh, they have a very not they have a very similar style when it comes to the vibe of the book. I think the dynamics like the dynamic fights they can both really capture them uh they are both working on the original gi1 designs of uh the transformers so that really makes it where the aesthetic feels very uniform and although their approach is a little bit different i think having mike spicer color everything that also helps to maintain that through line um so i think this is very well done uh, i really enjoyed this issue there's a lot of action introductions to characters uh, I will give you a brief spoiler because it's in the it's in one of the variant covers. Shockwave is here, who seems to be like uh, Soundwave's brother, I think, from from what I from what I read here. If that's incorrect, let me know in the comments. Uh, and the Transformers, you know, they are the I mean, the Autobots are running low on allies. They're running low on energy. They I don't know how these robots continue to heal or how they'll come back from some of the stuff that happens in this issue. Uh, we also have finally more stuff ramping up with our um, with Carly and, and Spike. Uh, so even our human characters are getting into the fray. So let me pull up some of the preview art here. Uh, and as I mentioned, Jorge Corona just doing some really fun stuff on the page. Uh, you know, whether it's like having giving these uh, Autobots facial expressions that you can understand. The introduction of uh, Shockwave here is really cool. And then just, of course, this gigantic portal um, uh, to Cybertron, right? I love the Constructicons. I think they're a really fun uh, addition to here. Uh, they they really stand out as well amongst all the rubble with the green design. But man, oh man, what an entrance for uh, Shockwave. Like, just really, really cool. Uh, and, you know, we see here Cliff Jumpers in danger. I love that he turns into, uh, Shockwave turns into a smaller gun that Soundwave can use. Uh, I, I always get a kick out of that, the the transformation. Megatron also transforms into a smaller gun, and I'm like, why would you become a small gun? That doesn't make any sense, but it is Transformers. So uh, really cool stuff, really enjoying this. Uh, if you have read this issue, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments, as always. Thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.